Hi everyone, this is a short video to talk about your developmental timeline assignment. Um, so the, for the developmental timeline, um, take a blank piece of paper, um, it can be anything, scratch paper, you're not actually turning in your, um, your timeline. Um, your timeline is something that's going to be just for you, you'll use it for the rest of the semester, um, but you will write about it or talk about it um, with other students. Um, so for your timeline, the first thing that you do is just take a piece of paper um, and draw a line down the center. Um, on the first side, enter the year that you were born, and on the other side, um, the year that we're working on right now. Um, and that will be the timeline of your present development up until the point um, today. Um, and then make about 10 marks there. So if you're 20, then you could do it every two years. Um, if you're older than 20, um, you know, it might be more years. So make about 10 marks. Um, across there and enter things that you think influenced your development in some way. So it could be when you learned to walk, it could be when you moved to another city or country, um, it could be when you um, got a dog, lost a dog. Um, you know, they can be positive things and negative things, but just things that you think impacted your development in some way. Um, so enter a few things, you know, for each time period, or, or as many as you can think of. Um, if you know somebody who knows when you learned to walk, when you learned to talk, those kinds of things, it can be really useful to add those to your timeline now. Um, you may think that uh, those people will be around forever, and then when you have kids someday, or um, if you already have kids, you may be interested in how when they learn to talk compares with how you learn to talk or walk or, or whatever it was. Um, and for those of you who think you'll never have kids, um, I would just like to point out that half of all pregnancies are unplanned. So, um, so you never know, maybe you know, but, uh, but you might not know. Um, so enter those things um, and then look at the definitions. Their definitions are in the slides and they're also in the book for a normative age graded event, a normative history graded event, or a non-normative event. And look at your um, the items on your timeline and label them with one of those labels for each one. Um, normative age-graded events are things that tend to happen to people at the same age. Um, so a lot of people go through puberty at the same age. A lot of people graduate from high school at around the same age. Um, those kinds of things. Get a driver's license if that was, um, if that was an important part of your life. Um, so um, those would be age-graded influences. Um, uh, history graded normative influences would be something that was a historical event that influenced your development in some way. So um, it could be, um, you know, a flood or a hurricane that happened to a lot of people in your community at the same time. It could be a pandemic, sadly, um, those kinds of things. And the age where it happened to you will influence how it impacted your development. In other words, a 10 year old is going to understand things that are going on in the world in a qualitatively different way than a 30 year old will or a five year old would. So, um, so those would be normative. They happen to a lot of people um, at the same time, but they were historical events and not something that was unique to you. The third category is for a non-normative event. And a non-normative event is something that doesn't typically happen to other people. It doesn't have to be shocking. Um, it could be something as, um, as sort of ordinary, if you want to think of it as ordinary, as maybe a broken bone. Um, you know, a lot of people break a bone at some point in their life. Not everybody does, though. You know, like you don't walk up to somebody um, at a social event and say, hey, when did you get your broken leg? You don't expect everybody to have a broken leg. Um, so that would be a non-normative event. Um, sometimes they are shocking things, but many times they are just things that happen to you that don't happen to lots of people. Sometimes it's something that is pretty normative. Um, and might be age graded, but it happened to you at a different age. So if you graduated from high school when you were 57, you might consider that a non-normative event because it was a huge achievement and it happened at a time that was unusual based on when it happened to most people in your cohort. So that's your, your present timeline. Um, then turn your page over. I'm using recycled paper, so I have typing on the other side. But um, either get another piece of paper or turn your piece of paper over. Um, start with the year that we're working on and then write the year when you will be 100. Um, I used to say, um, estimate the year of your death. And my students were just completely freaked out and they said, no, it's really creepy. And I was like, why is that creepy? And it's like, well, because it might happen. And it's like, mm, I don't think writing it down makes it happen. Um, I write things on my grocery list every single week and they don't happen. So I can tell you for sure, just writing it down doesn't make it happen. But, um, but I understand the sentiment. So um, uh, find a date that will make you be 100 um, and write that year there. 
Um, do the same thing. Divide it up into about 10 different blocks of time between this year and when you'll be 100, and write some things in there that you think will affect your development, um, and then label those as age-graded normative events, age-graded, or excuse me, history-graded normative events, or non-normative events. Um, that's it for your timeline. Then, um, if this is something that you're turning in, if you're in an online section, um, you'll be writing about it. So you do not turn in your actual timeline, that's personal to you. Um, but you're going to an, uh, analyze it just a little bit and discuss it a little bit. Um, if you're in a seated class, you'll be bringing it to class with you and we'll talk about the different kinds of things that uh, people nominated. Um, it sounds really easy when you're explaining it and then when you actually go to do it, um, sometimes it can, it can take a bit of time. So that's the developmental timeline. I hope you enjoy it um, or find it interesting. You don't always enjoy things. Um, I hope you find it interesting and also I hope it's something that you'll hold on to for the rest of the semester because as we study each progressively older um, age range in the lifespan, um, you can think about how, you know, what would be normative at that age, when did it happen to you, what was the impact that it had on you, and it's a way of personalizing the course um, and developing your own examples for course terminology and course concepts and theories um, that will make it much easier for you to remember those things and also apply them in other, in other um, circumstances. So um, uh, good luck and I look forward to hearing what you have to say about your timelines. Thanks, bye.